Hi there, Rob Mikowski, Digital Integration Specialist here with Bear Crop Science. I have a field here that I wanted to share with you, and this field is a field that was seeded to corn. And um, really want to draw your attention to this east side of the field here, where you see this dark green, the dark greener areas of, uh, of higher biomass. And so this is a, an image here on, on climate field view of this field. And this was on June the 2nd. And what we see in this image is that, especially, like I say, I wanted to call out this east side of the field, we're seeing a lot of biomass in this area. And really what was happening in this field was that this, this field here was a field that had very, very heavy weed pressure. And uh, so this grower had corn in this field. And on this uh, east side here, we see all this, all this biomass. So full of kochia, Russian thistle, and other uh, various weeds, but very, very heavy populations. So I'm going to go to scroll up here and around June 14th, we look through the images, uh, June 14th is when this grower went and sprayed Lotus. Um, he filled up a sprayer, he did a couple of passes with Lotus. And what I'm going to go to is I'm going to go to this, uh, let's go to the June 29th image here. So on the June 29th image, so this grower had Lotus and he sprayed this north headland, you know, he did a couple of passes with a sprayer on this north headland, as well as this east edge of the field. And you can absolutely see the difference that Lotus made here, um, exactly where the sprayer went. You can see the, the control of the weeds. You can see the biomass uh, dropping down um, quite, quite quickly. And uh, really the Lotus did an amazing job on the weeds that were present within this field. So I'm going to go to a couple of pins here. So we, um, we dropped a couple of pins on this field, took a couple of pictures. And uh, so I'm going to take a, you know, I'm going to click on this July 8th image. And uh, in this July 8th image, we can see that, you know, how good of a job the Lotus did. So the field was, uh, you, know, you can see it did a great job on the weeds that were here. And it's looking nice and clean here in the area where the Lotus was sprayed. And on July this other image on this pin here taken on July 8th, we can see where the lotus was not sprayed and in this dark green biomass area where this pin was dropped, where the sprayer did not spray, we can see the weeds that are still actively, very actively growing and uh, really competing with, with the corn that's when this, with, uh, within this field. So this was the, the non-lotus um, pass in this area where there's darker green. So I'm gonna close that pin out. So just, uh, yeah, wanted to share this with you. Just a great field to show the uh, the power of Lotus. So Lotus is a, a group 27 herbicide from Bayer and it controls, um, you know, a great number of weeds. It does an excellent job post-emergence on broadleaf weed control as well as grass suppression. It includes uh, tough to control, um, glyphosate resistant weeds such as Canada fleabane, giant ragweed and water hemp as well. Does a great job on the on the weeds that we did see that were present within this field, especially the kochia that was uh, that was within this field. So yeah, so thank you for that. If you have any questions, um, contact your bear crop science territory sales manager or look for more information on our website at cropscience.bear.ca.